What's going on everybody? Ryan back here with another grounded class build. I really wanted to like this one. I really wanted this one. I had so much hopes for this one. Uh, so this is our rogue slash assassin build. And I tested a ton of stuff and man, it has the potential to be so much better than it is. Uh, so what I was trying to do is proc, uh, damage, bleed, or uh, root, bleed, poison, all that stuff. But unfortunately we can't do that. I don't think the game is ready for that much... Uh, damage over time so i had the uh the mask of the brood mother or mask of the mother demon whatever you want to call it to try to proc the poison on there i tried uh, venom arrows and then the spider fang daggers to see if all three would stack up they don't um it will proc the poison damage but it's very slow which isn't bad with just using the, the spider fang dagger alone because you're getting in there and getting a lot of hits but uh the poison doesn't stack so that's why we're not rocking that we just want the uh traditional spider gear for the uh Hunter's prowess set bonus and the uh, increased attack stamina. Because actually, when I was sitting there hitting so much with the Spider Fang Dagger, I was running out of stamina. And the other issue with these is the freaking durability of daggers. I don't know why they made the daggers break so easily. You'd think, considering that they're pretty difficult to get when you first get them, uh, with the uh, the venom from the wolf spiders and everything, that they last a little bit longer. But I guess not. I guess wolf wolf spider teeth just aren't that strong. Anyway, let's look at our mutations. We got Assassin. That's going to uh, have a chance to proc Bleed. It does work. So Bleed and Poison will stack, which is nice, especially now that they have the insects run away when they get a low on health. You'll just see them explode as they're running away. The biggest thing with this one is you got to have Coup de Grass, and uh, that's mainly because you're going to be in there getting a ton of hits off, and Coup de Grass is going to, the crit hit chance is going to hit about 35% or 25%. Whatever it is, and that's going to stifle them every time. So about every two to three hits, you're stifling them, interrupting their attack pattern. Uh, quickness, just so we can get quicker. Max stamina, might change it out with uh, max health. It's going to be up to you. Parry master, just in case we do get low on stamina again while we're fighting some of the bigger insects. Um, just to regain some of that stamina on a perfect block. Everything else is pretty standard. Like I said, I tried the venom arrows. I just couldn't get into it. One, they do less damage because they're just normal arrows uh, with the venom tip. So they don't do as much damage as a feather arrow, and the poison just doesn't stack. So until we get some kind of fix on the arrows, whether the gas, lure, poison, spicy, minty, and salty arrows, I'm really not going to use them. Uh, we do have our shield, just like I said, for the blocks. Uh, rolling with the insect bow in this one, just for the, uh, the added speed, so if I need to get shots off. And then, like I said, three daggers. And I'm pretty upset because I had a level 7 spicy fang dagger. I got hit with an infected uh, gnat and it dropped through the world. So it's gone forever. So do have a level 7 um, spicy or a level 7 mighty here. That's the one we're going to be using to start things off. And then uh, pretty much just get in there and wreck them. So that's our build. So let's go get to it. And it does say that uh, spiders are obviously resistant to poison. They still take poison damage, so it's not like they're completely resistant to it. I guess it just doesn't affect them as bad. But everything else you can see is going to... Going to get pretty wrecked. We can't get out of here now. So orb weavers and wolf spiders, even uh, able to get up in there inside of a uh, a fight with a gas or a stink bug, and wrecked him before he even got the gas attack off. So, heard a ladybug. Let's go try this thing out here. And see, just like that. That time I didn't even get low on stamina. So we got any orb weavers over here. Going around the corner. You 
see that when you get the uh, stifle on them, it just completely wrecks them. They don't have a chance to respond. Now let's go try it out on our favorite insect. stay on top of them they really don't have a chance so it is a quick class I like that that you're running around real quick and you can essentially just uh really just get in there and wreck them is really not an issue with this setup. So before you know it, they're already gone and you're already running off to find your next victim. And again, the light armor, so you really don't have to worry about stamina regen, the attack stamina when you're fighting with the spider armor. Obviously with the quickness, you're able to cover a lot of ground real quick. Oh, we took a hit from an ant. Got a larva down here. You can see how much damage the, uh, or how much durability we're already losing with the spider fang dagger. So you're either going to have to carry, let's look at the repair on it. You're going to either have to carry quartzite, spider chunks, and venom around with you, or just roll with multiples like I am right here. So here we can, uh, we're going to drop down, take a shot with that bow and arrow, and then run in there. So you do the same thing to the wolf spiders. With the hit, with the coup de grass, I mean, you're just knocking them around. They don't have a chance to really recover. I just wish that uh, the poison would stack so you're doing like 10 to 15 damage per uh, per tick over time rather than just like the, the three it does every three seconds or so. So this might be tricky, but we're going to go for it. <clears throat> Honestly... take off quickness for this one and throw on Mithridatum because I have a feeling I will get hit. But let's go in there. We just dropped a uh, Liquid Rage. It's on a green machine. Let's see what we can do. Two wolf spiders just like that. See, it doesn't take an antlion greatsword to wreck them. You get in there just like that. And obviously fighting two at once, we are going to run out of stamina because we're doing a lot of hits. And we're at about two-thirds durability on our dagger now. Let's get quickness back on. Let's go see if we can take out this, uh, this stink bug down here. This is still a really cool class. Like I said, I just wish the poison proc would uh, would stack. And I wish the venom arrows, just like all the other arrows, wouldn't lose their uh, their coating, so to say. See, when I with the stink bug, if they see you, they're going to do their gas attack. And you don't want to use an arrow because that's going to alert them to do their gas attack too. So we're going to try to get in here and see if we can siphon them a little bit. We got him before he even dropped it off. So it's a really fun class just to get in there and you're basically killing them before they even know what's going on. 
I mean, that's like with a lot of the classes right now. The biggest thing is the durability. Still a fun class, I mean, because I don't like hunkering around in the heavy armor and being all slow. So it is nice just to rock around with the bow, similar to the archer class, but we're using the uh, using the dagger more. Get that perfect block, get our stamina back, then I'm over with. Trying to block it. Just under 50% health on our uh, on our first spider fang dagger. But you see how many things we've already killed, right? So I mean, you're doing a ton of damage. This one's stuck in the rock, so we have to do our pull them out, and they're both next to each other. Because we're up here, why not take advantage of the uh, the high ground? Because he's running away over there. Just like that. And just because the... Uh, Come on. We fix arrow locations. And just because the feather arrows do more damage. So, I mean, it's really not a challenge. This is a class you can really run around in and just annihilate. Just in a different fashion than the, uh, your antlion greatsword or your, you know, your heavy hitting weapons. The trick is this one you can move around a lot faster, so... That's our little rogue class. Really fun to play. Like we're at about still a little bit under half on our durability for the Spider Fang Dagger. The shield's not too bad. You get those perfect blocks, you're going to uh, maintain the stamina. Two wolf spiders at once. Didn't even take a hit. The only hit we took, I think, was from a red ant. Oh, and that uh, orb weaver right there. But super fun class. Just something else to try out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We're having a ton of fun on the channel. We hope that you can join us. And uh, that's all we got. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay original, my friends. Later.